Hallelujah. Praise be unto his glorious name forevermore. Will you celebrate Jesus wherever you are this evening? And give him a wonderful round of applause. Well, it's another night. And it's time to listen to the word of God. And I'm inspired. Hallelujah. It's always a blessing to know that when two or three are gathered in his name, he is there. Amen. And it's always a blessing. So we need to acknowledge that. Are you there? All right. So let us pray. Father, thank you for all the wonderful things that you've done for us, all that you are doing. And all that you continue to do for us. You say you are great, you are kind, you are wonderful, you are loving and caring. These and many other things do we ask of you through his glorious and prosperous name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated. And um, at this moment in time, you are welcome to the second and the last session of the Hard Follower Conference. Yes, yesterday I spoke to you about the art of following and I told you that I'll continue on that today and on the topic, how to be a hard follower. So that's why I told you about the art of following so that you can know the manner as to which you can also be a hard follower so that you will not also go astray. Is that not amazing? Yes, so... So that you may not also go astray. That is the whole point of everything. Amen. So there are a lot of things that we are going to talk about today. Especially about the art of following. Following somebody is one of the most important things that you have to notice. Every time and season you come into the contact of somebody. And I told you yesterday that you must be very conscious of those you follow. I'm continuing from where I left off yesterday. This is a, a literal continuation. Do you get it? Yeah. So, like I said, you first of all assess the person to know if the person's moral life is the right way to go. For example, we all try to emulate or simulate the life that Jesus lived. That is why we are meant to simulate everything he did as well. Healing the sick, raising the dead, Preaching the word, all these things are his life. Christianity is basically a lifestyle. Hallelujah. Christianity is basically a lifestyle. Let me show you that scripture about healing the sick. Hallelujah. It is a very wonderful one. Um, let's go to Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and the verse number 8. It says, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely ye have received, freely give. Let's go in the previous verses, verse 3. It says, oh, let's start from the beginning. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all, and all manner of disease. Now, the names of the twelve apostles are these. The first, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the publican, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Le Lebaeus, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve disciples sent forth, Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any 
city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the uh, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils freely ye have received, freely give. Let's look at this in, a, in another translation. It says, Heal the sick, raise the dead, kill those with leprosy, and cast out demons. Give freely as you have received. Hallelujah. So this is a great scripture to notice or to understand that free, we have received something. So based on this joint topic, that is how to be a hard follower. One of, one of the things that you must always notice is that first of all, number one, you must receive something from the person or from the entity or what you are following before you follow. Automatically, before you follow somebody, there is a certain entity that you receive. Sorry, there's a certain characteristic that you receive. So before you fall in love with somebody, you realize that you examine and assess the person with time before you finally decide that, oh, this is the person that I want to be with. Is the understanding there? Yes. So it's, an, it, it's basically you have received of the characteristic of the person that empowers you to admire the person. Do you understand it? Yes. That empowers you to admire the person. So that is the understanding or that is the basis of all that I'm talking about. Okay. So in order for you to really follow somebody or to practice the art of following, you need to receive something. Same way that we receive. Some of us automatically, I think, most of the problems that we have in our generation today is that some were automatically born in Christian homes. So therefore, they did not really receive of the Lord before they understood. So you just take going to church as any light-headed thing or a, a, a ritual that we do at any point or, or on Sundays or Saturdays. It doesn't matter the day. You are going to worship the Lord. If you only have received of the Lord, you will do His work. You will be in His presence every day, every time, every hour. You wouldn't want to do any other thing else. If you have freely received of the Lord, if you have freely received of Him, you have received of His gifts, you've prayed before, you've felt His presence, you will follow Him. And as you follow Him, you will follow the people that He has selected to dwell in them. To teach you. That is why we have gifts unto men. There's a scripture in the Bible again that says that not all people in the church must become leaders. For leaders are going to be judged strictly because of the role. So when you are following or when you have followers or somebody is following you, you have a role. And you need to play that role very well. You need to lead that role very well. It's the same way they give you a movie role of a lead, a lead role in a movie. You play it very well and you get your money. You get interviews and other associated things with the movie industry. Interviews, showbiz, um, whatever, red carpets, this, that and any other thing. You get all those things. So if you are following somebody, you have to receive. Some of us were born into Christian homes, but we received of the Lord because we wanted to see more. God has selected us. Why do you think that a person of my age would dedicate himself this much? Do you know my schedule in a day? Next year will be wonderful. I just can't wait for what next year is going to be. La Rocha Bradega Masum Bradega Listed. I just can't wait for what next year is going to be. Because I'm going to share with you so much about my life. So that you know how much I was 
dedicating myself to be here. Because listen, six years has not been easy since 2019. In entering into 2020. I remember 2019, it was either the month of August, September, or October. And then we are here, 2020, 2023, we are still here. Back then, I couldn't come on camera. But I genuinely followed what I believed, what I could do, what I was blessed to do. That is how you exalt or you portray the art of following. If you are really following somebody, his traits, characters must show in you. That is why when you marry a woman or a man, one of the things that will happen is that you will exhibit some of the traits of the woman. In other words, if you used to do stuff like this, the woman will direct you now to do it like this. Because following, you followed. And therefore, if you are if you stop following at a certain point that is where the confusion and the argument comes which should not be so do you understand what i'm saying so if you're really following somebody whatever they say you will listen jesus had followers i didn't speak about this yesterday jesus christ had followers who followed him everywhere he went they followed anywhere and everywhere they went, they followed. Do you understand what I'm talking about? They followed wherever he went. They were attached to him. They wanted to know more. I gave you some points yesterday about how to follow somebody genuinely. Get involved in what they are involved in. Get to know them. And I'm giving you more points. You should be taking points. Because this type of ministration, I don't give points. The points should come directly from the realm of the spirits. Because this isn't me sharing this with you. I am just a vessel. And this is the little that I can share with you that I believe can impact you in a way. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. Are you there? Are you there or you've gone home? The art of following is necessary if you don't know the art of it. A-R-T, art. If you don't know the art, if that's what you want to hear, if you don't know the art of following, you cannot follow somebody genuinely and even to talk of becoming a hard follower. Yes. If you do not understand the art of following, you genuinely cannot follow somebody and claim yourself to be a hard follower. So from today, as you are listening to that preaching and today's preaching, examine yourself and ask yourself this question. That apart from your pastors who have been selected out for you, out of the pastors, Apart from the pastors, are you a hard follower of God? That is the main question. Can you follow God or are you a hard follower of God? That is the main question. Main question. Are you a hard follower of God? Examine yourself. Examine the acts of following, the painting, the illustration, the pictorial view, glory to God, of following. Once you have this concept, you know how to follow. And I said, following is not idolizing. Have this in mind. That is what gets into the mind of most Christians and you know, Another thing with the art of following is that following is associated with honor. That's a point I'll give to you. Follow, following is associated with honor. Examine this. Or listen to this. If you follow somebody, 
you will honor them. Why? Because you are exhibiting something from them. And it gains or it programs your mind, the mindset to have a certain respect for the person. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or you are lost. For example, I'm standing here. Let me use myself as an example. Somebody is following me. There is a certain trait that I have. There's a certain characteristic that I exert. There's something that I do that allows or gives the person a reason to follow me. And so, when the person follows me, the person will automatically honor me. It, that's how it is. It's not about choosing. Choosing can be there, yes. But automatically, honor is developed. If everything should go in the right manner and in the right direction and in the right way. So, when the person sees me, because of that trait that he or she loves or desires about me, the person will honor me and have a certain respect at the back of the mind for me. So, whenever the person hears bad news about me, the person will do a clear investigation on what that actually means or what they are saying. Is it true? That is how to follow somebody. But some people... When you hear something, no, hey, I'm going. Where are you going to? You will run. Now I'm not copying that. Take your time. Follow the right people, as I said. Are you hearing me? Follow the right people, as I said. Following is a very, very delicate thing. That's why I'm sharing all these things with you. Yes, following is a very delicate thing. Very, very delicate thing. And you need to notice that. Are you there? Or you have gone home? Yes. So you have to notice. You have to take heed of these little things. Because they will always catch your attention. Or they will catch you unawares. So you must always be prepared for them. Are you there? You must always be prepared for them. So that the act of following, that's how it is. Automatically, the person will develop some honor for you. So, when, they, when you are not even expecting it, oh, please, all oh, this, all oh, that, and you don't understand, but why does the person like you so much? Following attracts automatic honor. Automatically, it works with honor. When you come to the realm of the aspect or the dimension of ministry, when you follow somebody, First of all, it is known that you need to honor the person first. But in my terminology, you need to follow the person before you can honor them. Because you need to look at the structure of the person's life, morale, preaching, teaching, and if the doctrines are right and aligning to the word and the will of the Lord, before you can now follow the person. And as you follow the person, you honor because of their knowledge in the world that they are bringing out to you. That is in the dimension of ministry. But when it comes to life, there are traits that we have that allow people to follow us, that attract people to us. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't play with what I'm telling you. The act of following is very, very important. Anyways, I was talking about something that most of us were born in Christian homes. So we have not received. Let me help you understand what he's talking about. Here, Matthew 10, 8, again, he says, kill the sick, raise the dead, kill those with leprosy and cast out demons. Give as freely as you have received. Ask again that what have they received? How did they receive it? From what source? And what means? When Jesus Christ came, he had... Let me show you a certain scripture. To prove to you that there were a lot of disciples that Jesus had following him 
but dishonored him along the way, therefore losing the um the luminescence of following. It's English. Let me show you a certain scripture. Um, Jesus was teaching something. Let's go to the book of John. There's some there's one particular thing I'm looking for. Um Jesus was teaching at the temple and he was talking about something. This shows a particular view of how many people he had following him and at the end of the day they left let me show you something and that's where another point to establish from sorry um john six Uh Aha, John 6 verse 16. Let's go there. It says, okay, Um, it wasn't a temple, rather, correction, it was Kipano. All right, Um, let's, I don't, I'm looking for a specific place. Uh Aha, he was teaching. I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's start from 41. It says, The Jews murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he saith, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, that is the Old Testament, and they shall all, they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God, he hath seen the Father. I think we should read in an easier translation so that you can understand what is happening here. I will come back to KGB for that specific phrase. So um, it says, not that anyone has ever seen the Father, only I who was sent from God have seen him. I can tell you the truth. That's verily, verily, I say unto you. I can I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes has eternal life. Yes, I am that bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the wilderness, and they are dead. Anyone who eats the bread from heaven, however, will never die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And this bread which I will offer, so the world may live, is my flesh. Then the people began arguing with each other about what he meant. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? They asked. And I'm getting where I want to get. He says, so Jesus said again, I tell you the truth. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you cannot have eternal life within you. But anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise that person at the last day for my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and and i in him are you taking notice of the things 
He says, I live because of the living Father who sent me. In the same way, anyone who feeds on me will live because of me. I am the true bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will not die as your ancestors did, even though they eat the manna, but will live forever. He said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue in Capano. So it was a temple or a church in Capano. And then now, can you see this? 60. I'll go to 63. Then you you will hear. It, many of his disciples said, This is very hard to understand. How can anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his disciples were complaining. So he said to them, Does this offend you? Then what will you think if you see the Son of Man ascend to heaven again? Let's go back to that one. 60 in KGV. Sorry, um, let's use the Amplified Classic first. It says, When his disciples heard this, Many of them said, this is a hard and a difficult, this is a hard and difficult and strange saying, an offensive and unbearable message. Who can stand to hear it? Who can be expected to listen to such teaching? Another point, the act of following is such that if you start to judge the moral life of the person, before you get to know the reason of why the person is living like that, you will lose track of the life or the, uh, the traits of the person. So for example, in marriage, when a man and a woman marries and then the woman is controlling the man, telling the man, put your things here, put your things here, then do this, do that. The man then questions the wife that why is your life like this you see so first it was the man following the woman proposing sending flowers chocolates rings movie nights whatever but now the following is about to stop because of the fact that the life that he wants to live is not contrary to the life that his wife wants him to live because his wife wants him to change and he doesn't like to, he doesn't like it he doesn't appreciate that or he doesn't want to change so the mind of the man will be like this is very hard this is offensive i'm the man of the house da, 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 da. so why should i be taking this and then the woman will also ask does this offend you? <laughs> Does this offend you? If you are following somebody, follow the person completely. Don't judge. Don't follow half and then do also half. That is why I said follow the right people. I didn't say follow a person. I said follow the right people. It means that you can obtain following um traits from here at the same time here if they tell you or if they meet at one point you can agree on it some will obviously some will differ a lot the way i preach that's not the way bishop dark preaches the way bishop dark preaches is not the way pastor chris will preach the way pastor chris will preach is not the way pastor max Millen will preach the way pastor max Millen will preach isn't the same way lady pastor um Elsie will preach is in the same way a uh, lady pastor vanessa will preach not the same way a uh, um, lady pastor esther will preach pastor ken will preach pastor eben will preach all our preachings are different our mode and our manner of preaching is different because we all live a, a different life we are leaders therefore we have people who are following us therefore we are all different so you realize that our life will tarry as one but there will be certain traits that will be different. But a person from behind following can also gather all these traits and keep them as one in them. Following and living the pure, true Christian life. Are you listening to me? So that is the art of following. 
if you want to know why this person acts in this way and this one doesn't you have to ask questions so that is why i said get to know the person more before you follow the person so you get to ask so when you see your pastors the way i ask or the way i preach or the way i'm open and you realize that the other pastors are like that you can they are on the group they're on the platform you ask them why what, what is it why don't you act like the way pastor does why aren't you that open or why are you why does it always seem like yours is just ne- nervous or not exciting or like stuff like that i'm not giving you the opportunity to go and disturb them to be jumping i'm just saying that their mode of preaching i'm using it as a classical example so you can go and ask and they will tell you oh this is how i do this and this is the reason for this then you ask from here too then you look at both of them and that is where you are meant to assess you see christian uh, christianity is like diy it's like do it yourself so most of the things you should know that is why the word of god is your manual so read it now we are moving on to the next session how to use the art of following to become a hard follower so how to become a hard follower all i will say generally on this point is that if you want to really become a hard follower then use the art of following principles now number one double up the art of following principles what you do and like how you literally follow somebody regularly if you want to be re- if you want to really become a hard follower double it that is how people become leaders and that's how we can separate some from some and say that this one can become a leader and this one can become a leader because they are doing more than the other people they are all doing the same thing but different different ways and different levels of doing it that is how you can identify leaders and actually pick them or select them out are you there yes that is how you can actually pick them or select them out so i don't just speak like this everybody is following what i'm doing right everybody is following it but it's not everybody i pick as a leader everybody is following but it's not only uh i don't just speak leaders we are all following but the level at which you do it will let me identify that you're a hard follower so some of the people i did see most of the leaders i don't interview them their actions in the things of god that we participate in here tells me a lot that is why i said assessing should be one of the things that should be always present to you thinking critical thinking that is the life of a christian because if you don't think you not understand the bible for example the bible says suffer the children so when you go to sunday school you go and be the children you see that's basic knowledge critical thinking and that's why you need other translations so critical thinking then you open the translations then you get to discover deeper and deeper and that's how we teach the word of god and that's how we become hard followers so me the pastor the evangelist the prophet whatever that is on the flyers at the end of the day i am just a hard follower and every other pastor every other leader in this church is also a hard follower that is the truth we are all hard followers and that is how we become gifts unto men therefore let me notify you on this last time just so you don't say i'm contradicting i did say that all of us are gifts unto men now let me tell you something i'm going back to the knowledge of who you are the knowledge of the fact that you are a gift is what to enlighten you again to become a hard follower before you develop that ability or access to become a hard follower or to become a gift unto men are you there are you there or you've gone home yes it may seem like i'm aggressive but believe me it is the work of the holy spirit i don't know why i'm so enthusiastic about this conference it's only two sessions too 
do you, do you see but it's an important one those who will not listen that one is their problem it's on to them because i have done my part by being a half follower you think it's easy i just finished one service i am meant to be sitting down like this let me show you i'm meant to be sitting down crossing my leg like this and then relaxing doing whatever i want but i'm standing here hard following a double dose of the act of following the normal basic principles of following that i taught you yesterday do the same thing but extra because a christian is extraordinary glory to god a christian is extraordinary You are extraordinary. And you can do extraordinary things. That's why we work in the supernatural. Listen to the word natural. Supernatural. Extraordinary natural. So the extraordinary means more than. Do you understand? So that's who you are. When you are, are when you operate in the supernatural, you are operating with the works of the Holy Spirit. That is what makes you extraordinary. So when you really understand the Holy Spirit, you operate in the supernatural. You receive the definition of becoming a hard follower. It is the Holy Spirit, number two. It is the Holy Spirit which will guide you to becoming a hard follower. A hard follower does not really have a limit. The sky is the hard follower's limit. Once you are able to double dose those basic principles of following, the sky is your limit. Don't come down than that. Work hard. Be the best. Because that is your life. That is the life that you live. Glory to God. That is the life that you live. That is the life that you have. That is who you are. So live by it. Enjoy it to the fullest. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. That is your life. I'm talking about how to be a hard follower here. This is how to be a hard follower. That's all. There's nothing more. That's why I spent so much time on the art of following before I came to this final segment where you need to know that if you don't, let me help you understand. Understand the art, the illustration, the pictorial image of following. There's no way you can become a hard follower because you need that to do this. If you are following somebody, follow them. Get to know them. The knowing part is very, very important. Because you never know where you are following. You may be following someone. At the end of the day, you realize that you are following Satan. Oh, yeah. Or you don't know what happens. Some people actually follow artists. Then they end up in hell. For example, like the example that I shared with you the other day concerning the concert that they went to and then they were saying we'll go to hell with you that it was the artist saying it to them and they too agreeing with it automatically if it should happen and they don't ask for the mercy of god and they think that oh the world or the life of a christian is just for enjoying hell they shall go to it's not it's not judgmental it is a fact That is it because you said it. Who now will say you want to go to hell with this guy because of how amazing, exceptional he is? So go, follow him. So that's why I said follow the right people. It's not everything we follow. That's why I said assess, think, critical thinking. That's the life of a Christian. That's the life of a Christian. So that's the art of 
following and how to become a hard follower. If you want to become a hard follower, learn how to learn the art of following. Eh? That is how to follow someone. All that I've shared with you, that's how to follow someone. If you give this preaching to anyone, they'll tell you. What is how to genuinely follow somebody? Amen. I, okay, I think you don't understand. So I think I should share with you my experiences about being a hard follower. Yes. Yeah. All right. A hard follower always would experience the same way you are having give me peace more my feet are tired the same way you would have are you listening the same way you would have um Oh, what was I about to say? Yes, the same way you would have the um, ability or you'd know the ability that in order to become a hard follower, you need to change the rank of what you do. In other words, extending it to a higher level to gain access towards being a hard follower. It is the same way that as you are doing those things there will also be a double dose of attacks so what will come normally to a christian just following like that will come double to you and it is better because it teaches you so that you teach others example is ev evangelism when you are a hard follower evangelism is one of the things that should never pass your new back evangelism come on rabre de sucrondis it should never pass your name by evangelism come on you have to be kidding me evangelism should never pass your name by always evangelism should be intact with you oh yeah if you're a hard follower let it not pass you very very key is a, an essential tool and evangelism i've told you so many times that that's one of the things the devil dislikes it, with passion when when they say you hate something with passion you understand with all might and power the way i have the passion for doing the work of god is the same way Satan hates the passion of me evangelizing to people about being hard followers. To me, my attacks are once in a while. And it takes me a while to conquer them. But at the end of the day, the importance is that I do and I use it to teach again. Accept not the arrows and the snares of the devil. As another, another thing, point three. If you are a hard follower, you are immune to the arrows snares and bullets of the devil are you there when you are a hard follower nothing shakes you it will shake you a bit you may fall down but don't let that stop you once you have cleared your head and you have cleared your mind stand up back again and move i'm not saying Ignore your feelings. That's why I said in your own good time. Mm? In your own good time. When you meet challenges like that, that will cause you to think. Depressed. As if I've not experienced it before. I'm telling you. When, that will cause you to think. Depressed. Send you into a state of silence. That you cannot speak. Pray. Do anything. Once you are able to rise up on your feet again and leave the devil so bright in a case that he is so brother, go back and do more than what you were doing. Don't stop. And what you went through, use it to teach. 
because you it shows your act of it shows how big strong and tough that you are it shows the real definition of a hard follower they are immune to such things a soldier is immune to guns bullets it doesn't scare them so let not the snares of the devil scare you are you hearing me let not the snares of the devil scare you listen to listen to what i'm saying very clearly let not the snares of the devil shake you get up back again do what we are doing and do it best do it more than you would program yourself to do in a regular basis then you do a double dose, triple dose, quadruple dose, quintuple, going on. Hallelujah. This is the life that you live. This is how you are meant to be. Yes. So, notice it. Have it at the back of your mind. That this is my life from today. This is my life from today. Hallelujah. Let this be a lifestyle. Amen. Let this be a lifestyle. There are consequences that you meet. A hard follower, number four, would meet a lot of consequences. But I've showed you how to defeat them. Allow it. Then recover. And then teach others about it. Such that they may not fall prey to that same thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? I've shared with you a lot. Amen. So, with what I've shared with you, I hope it will bless and inspire you. And cause you to be a hard follower. So from today, a lot of hard followers. No more backsliding Christians. Like I said, I wanted to show you something from the freely you have received, and that's what I'll close with. Now, you see that scripture, when Jesus came, he had a lot of disciples. Some left because they started to not ask questions, or they didn't get to know him well, to understand really, 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 really what he was trying to say. Are you there? Yes. So they left. But those who wanted to get to know more, they stayed, and those were the twelve. So, the fewer, the what? The merrier. The fewer they are, the merrier. Bible says, warn to you who oh, everybody likes you. Some people must hate you. It's normal. And enjoy it. Because it's like, whenever they see you, they are, put, they are putting tension upon their lives. And it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful ability to have. Don't you think so? And that's how I am. Hallelujah. So, have this at the back of your mind. That a Christian will come along challenges and consequences, but you know how to defeat them. And I just said that a hard follower too, at times, or in certain scenarios, will... Um, what was the point? So oh. oh, I just said this thing now. Yes. This disciple thing. So you see the question. So really Jesus was giving them something, all right? They questioned what he was saying, and they criticized it. It's okay to criticize, but do it to a certain extent. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do it to a certain extent. It's okay, like I'm saying. Listen, look, it is okay to criticize, but do it to a certain extent. And get to know the real reason before you start to involve others in your criticism. So really, Jesus Christ was giving them something really to 
discover or to know about. So he was giving them teachings, divine encounters with the Holy Spirit. Divine encounters with the Holy Spirit. That was what he was giving to them. So those who received, those who wanted to find out more about how they could receive, that was why he said, freely ye have received a gift. So the same things that you have received from me, you've been with, he's trying to say that you've been with me all this while. You have been hard followers. So as you have received of me, give it out to other people that they may also receive to give it out. This is how we work. Because as the Bible says, we should go preaching. The kingdom of God is at hand. As we have received, we should freely give. A hard follower can believe in these things to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to Cleanse people of their diseases, leprosy, because they have received of the Holy Spirit, therefore enabling them to do it. And following comes with faith. You believe something about the person. You believe that this trait will stay with the person. Following is always attached with faith when it comes to these type of things. Yeah. So, please. Remember what I'm telling you. Don't forget it for anything. Don't forget it for food. Don't forget it. Listen. What I'm saying is very, very important. You have received of the Holy Spirit. You have received of the Word of God. Give it out. If you're a hard follower, believe that you can pray for someone. I'm telling you. You will pray for somebody and the person will receive healing. Raising the dead, that is a two-way thing. There's also a bit of doubt there. Because scientifically, but spiritually, maybe the person was taken away wrongly. You can pray for the person. And it is God who will tell you that you can do something about this. You know it. You can. And it works. Look at the testimonies we were watching at Rapper Fest the other day about somebody's child who was almost Cassie and Paul. I can't day and Day. You don't know. Day. No. Small. Small chance, babe. He left small. Then she placed. She has followed the Rhapsody. Followed Pastor Chris. Followed the word of God. Now she has the faith. Healed the sick, raised the dead. She placed the book. The boy coughed. A dead body. Suicidal. Suicide. You saw it. That's not made up. That's called hard following. Hard following. I'm glad that this conference came at this time. I don't even know how to end. But this is what I'll tell you or empower you with. That all these things that I've said in the process of this, make notes from them. Learn from it. Adapt it and keep it. Most importantly, give. Thank you. Stand to your feet. Give. Because the Lord has given to you. The Holy Spirit. He has given him to you. He has given his spirit to you. The Holy Spirit is Jesus Christ in us. Do you know that? That's Jesus Christ in spirit. Remaining in us. That is why we have the ability to do what the, the, the scripture is telling us to do. Or you don't know. Yes. That is the ability we have. That is why we have the ability, sorry, to do the things that the scripture has entailed or asked us to do. That we should heal the sick and we should raise the dead. Are you there? So give. I'm not saying give money. Yo. Give what the Lord has given to you. If it is money that the Lord has given to you. I'm not saying don't give. That one, it's your decision. That's what the Lord has given to you. So give it. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I'm saying that the words that you have received. The prophecies. Give it out. Stand on them. Grow your faith. Grow your, your, your foundation. 
and become a hard follower through the act of following through faith all these messages you need to combine them listen to them they will empower you and you realize that you'll be healing people and you've closed the idea to are healing people it will happen at a glimpse and the twinkle of an eye only hard followers this one only hard followers exquisite only hard followers only them they are the only ones who can do this so give as you have received of his holy spirit as you have received of him you've received of god and everything that concerns him give it out to other people let them experience the same thing god will bless you and will bless those who will also give it out and it will continue spreading around and saturating the nations like that hallelujah are you on your feet let's begin to pray right now begin to pray thank the lord for this wonderful time this opportunity this season oh Father Lord, you ask the heaven, we thank you and we bless your holy name. We say there's none like you and there's none compared to you. We love you, O oh Lord, we adore you. Father Lord, take all the glory, take all the honor, the praise is yours. You will become hard followers. Hard followers. We love you, O oh Lord, and we adore you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with us, giving in adoration. Amen, and amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Praise be unto the Lord. God bless you. You may be seated.